Whew. Analysis time. So that felt a little bit sticky, but I think we tried to block off most of the attempts. So I've developed through, and I'm sure there was a moment where it could have gone a little bit wrong. So black is winning at the moment, white is winning at the moment, sorry. And it doesn't like their bishop move, so we come through. Defend as normal, so nothing new there. Usually we'll, we would take the bishop at this point. But I'm I was trying something new just to basically say, okay, I'll let you come to me because it's a bit uncomfortable you being there anyway. And usually they go right back here so they open up the rook. So I thought I'll give this a try. I probably will stick with taking the bishop though because that's really the system. Simple direct moves. Okay, so it felt like it was getting a bit congested towards the king side area. Uh, so we blasted through the center, trying to open it up. And then we got a magical fork again with the pawn. So we're getting lucky with these pawn forts lately. So grabbed, grabbed. And then tried to think, oh, have we lost position here? His knight doesn't have any protection on it. So if he left it there, then potentially we might be able to take that off the board. But I'm thinking king safety. Don't want to keep my king home alone. Let's make sure that it's, it's comfortable. So I want to make space for the knight. So the knight can um, act as like... Um, and Sir Walter Rally or whatever and protect the king area. So that felt quite nice. And then the knight was still left, so we could take. So you notice we didn't go rushing taking it. We made sure that we were safe first and protected. So now we're looking to develop an, an attack towards their king area, and especially on the <clears throat> on this um loosely protected pawn by the queen. So bring the our other queen, well our queen into the situation just to um, back up the rook and put a check on the king so now we've got two pieces on the pawn our pawn now is looking to see the knight away because his feeling is going to stay there forever so we're saying bye bye and then we capture so now we can actually take the pawn looking at the move order so taking and taking hopefully the queen can take if the rook can then own the file but it doesn't want to do that so we bring our rook up and take with the knight so at this point here it's pretty plain sailing and the opponent resigned at that point so that was fairly quick and that's a blitz match so I mean really and truly I've got to celebrate that moment because we're not blitzy type players we're not bullet players um, but we're hopefully trying to improve our game we've been doing this since what is it online since 2011 or whatever it is and the shocking game, 2010, was 2010? Yeah, the first blog that I did um, playing online um, with Blitz, it was an absolute nightmare. And what I have done is charted my progress from, throughout all of those years to actually get into a state where we can play um, fairly confidently um, within many levels. And um, so don't look at the, the ratings or anything like that. It's being comfortable with your actual playing style and system and the strategies and plans that you're working with. So I'm really pleased that over the years we can feel fairly confident about actually delivering a good performance for ourselves. And these are the things that we do. We evaluate our games, then we take action on the evaluation, a serious action on the evaluation. We don't just go, oh yeah, okay, I might do that next time. And we do say, okay, how can we bring this into our own game? And if we don't like what the computer's suggesting, how can we fa fashion the concept into our own game? And then eventually it might start kicking in. So I've not been able to play like this with a good understanding of what I'm trying to do, you know, um, for many years from 2010. And it started to kick in when I took it more seriously, 2000, back end of 2017, 2018, 19 so that's fairly recent really um so it's given me a good focal point to try and develop the answer process that all the other chess players use understand that answer process and bring it into my own games so that's where we're currently at with these things i don't like bullet i've never liked bullet and it's not one of those things that i will ever really really be comfortable with 
But as you can see, even playing the bullet games, um, there's been improvements in there as well. Basically using the answer process and the concepts underneath the answer process.